What's up guys? Uh, I know it's been a minute, but today we've got some good content for you guys. I managed to pick up a Type R center console and the e-brake. So I'm gonna do the installation today. Hopefully I can document the progress. So yeah, let's go get to it. All right, here we are. I know it needs a wash. I think I'm gonna do the headlights today too. Just watch a couple videos, how to restore them with what I have. Center console in the back here. Shoot, it's too dark. Let me see if I can bump up the fair speed. Okay, here we go. There it is. It's got the crack right there, but I know a guy on uh, Instagram who I think can help me out. Can uh, print me out a new piece. And it came with the Integra Type S badge on it instead of Type R, which is fitting because I mean, this is a Type S. And then he also gave me the matching e brake because I still have the gray one in there. So, yeah, let's see if we can do this. Um, I probably won't be able to film it, but there's like a couple pins in there. Um, a couple screws. I did it before because I did the interior swap. But let's see if I can do it with the seats in. If not, that's going to be a hassle. So yeah, I'll try to do this and show you guys. Alright, so I think we're going to start with the shift boot cover. You take the shift knob off. Um, I'm planning on swapping this shift boot over just because it's aftermarket as well. It's like a pleather material that I got. It's actually pretty thick, thicker than what I think the Type R one has on it because that one looks pretty thin and uh, the one that came on it did not have the OEM Type R boot cover on it. So I'm gonna swap it over. Um, it came with, the guy said uh, Bride apparently, but I'll see how it looks. Maybe I'll keep it on. Maybe I'll swap it. Uh, plan on getting a short shifter soon. Maybe a QD, the two-way. Just because I don't really care for all the four-way adjustment. And this has definitely got to go. It's like a little bit of a play. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a couple screws. Um, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure there's like two in the back here. And then maybe two up front. I can't remember. Oh no, yeah, two. I think one right here and one right here. So I have to remove this plate. And you have to use the stock little pieces on the center console because the center console, the Type R one, is right hand drive. So you have to fit it with these since this is, you know, left hand. So yeah, I'll take these off and see if I can get that all done. So I got the seat out and right there is where you can see where those screws are. Um, you can see the, the piece that I have that's holding in the stock seat belt holders. It uh, scratches up, but I mean, you can't really see it. So I mean, I don't know if that's gonna be a problem for the other center console. I hope not, but here's the hoping. Um, I'm trying to look for SR4s, the Recaros. These are SR3s. Oh, that's too bright. SR3s. And yeah, I have the stock seatbelt holder. So it literally just held on to by a screw, a bolt um, that's on the seat bracket. It's from Planted. Sit pretty low, but uh, yeah, we'll see if this works. All right, so I got the screws out. And then once you do that, you kind of just lift up from the front end and the back end because you got to unhook those pins in. And then it'll come loose and you just lift it over everything. And then I got to do the e-brake. So yeah, definitely needs cleaning. I forgot to mention that you also have to unhook the little uh, cigarette port back there. So yeah, don't forget to do that if you're taking it off. So for these side panel pieces, they kind of just snap off. Um, they're held in by, 
I don't know if you can see it. So but they're held in by these little pins and then you just kind of shimmy that corner right here out once those pins are off. I would think it's the same for these so I'm going to find out and then I'll show what it looks like afterwards. So the difference between that one and this one for those panels is that there is a screw holding it, the last part in. Uh, once you pop off the pins and then unscrew that you should be good to swap it over. Um, I think you'll have to screw it. Actually, no, maybe. I'll see if I have to pop that uh, shift cover off and see what happens. Alright, so I managed to put it in just to test fit it and it lines up pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do the e-brake, so I'm gonna take it off. Then I'm gonna fiddle with the shift boot covers. Um, looks like you just pulled off. So I gotta pull off the bezel to make it easier to put the other one in. I might save this just cause it's kinda clean. Kinda like it, I don't know. The QD one's nice and all. But it just kinda looks weird. I don't know, I'll see how it looks. I'll keep it on, see how it looks, maybe swap it, I don't know. But yeah, we'll get this off. Right. Uh, I managed to get it installed. Um, it was kind of a pain to get the bezel off. Uh, just because, I don't know, it's pretty stuck on there. But I think it looked a lot nicer with this fake leather. It's actually really thick and it looks like it's good quality. But it just looks a lot better because on the last uh, shift boot, it was like all wrinkled up in the corners and like didn't look the fitment wasn't looking right this just looks more like OEM you know but yeah next up e-brake all right so I managed to get the e-brake in um, it's not too complicated I managed to figure out without having to look it up so you just take these two bolts out and then you kind of rotate these so that the wire can get through and then pull, the, pull those out. There's two, one on each side. And then the last thing is the little uh, button, I guess, or switch that tells the car that you have the parking brake on. So I, what I did was I screwed the little screw on the bottom and just screwed it on rather than trying to pull it off because I tried that and it wouldn't come off and didn't want to break it. So I just unscrewed it because there's a screw right here. And yes, wasn't too hard. So now I got the e brake. Can put the center console piece back on and put the seats in. Well, I'm probably gonna clean. Or I might leave it for another day just because it's. Uh, we're losing daylight. It's like what? Uh, let me check my phone. It is 2.40. So it's maybe about there four hours up at daylight so plan to wash my car so I might skip this I don't know it's not too bad it's not that dirty so yeah we'll get the center console in and I'll show you guys Ugh, wow all right so we got everything in in one piece I think yeah it's pretty nice it uh, really ties up everything together Still have to get the dash swapped out. It's a nice day enough to do it. But I think I'm done for today for car stuff besides maybe the car wash, we'll see. But yeah, this really looks nice. No more armrest though. Has the boomerang armrest. Still gonna keep it, uh, keep the center console too. But yeah, I'll get this swapped out from the guy who can 3D print me one the cutie shift boot adapter looks fine maybe maybe i might swap for this no no we'll keep it but i'll probably get rid of that other shift boot just because i don't think it was bright it was just some cheap fabric one and this one obviously is a lot nicer but yeah that concludes everything stay tuned for the next video keep a look out for my new instagram page it's called DC5 Junior. That's where I'll be posting most of my uh, little updates here and there if they're not on YouTube already. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one. Peace.